How is everybody doing today? It is a beautiful Tuesday out here in Southwest Florida. I can't wait to get outside. After this live, I am going to uh, grab about 30 to 45 minutes of very serious uh, hard suspension system training activity outside. Um, that's one of the programs that my wife has written that's on our app. She is actually my coach. So uh, what I have planned today is going to be pretty intense. But um, if those of you that want to partake in the app, we could actually help you out with the 30-minute consultation. It's where I can talk to you. It's pinned up and above. It's where I talk to everybody. Uh, or talk to everybody. It's where I talk to the person that gets a 30-minute consultation uh, about any questions they have, anything they would need. We'll talk about just about anything as long as I can. It's in, within my wheelhouse, and I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, or you can sign up to Straight Center for Coaching. That's where my wife and myself talk to people all week long, the weekly video conference calls. We help take a person's life and change it bit by bit by bit. We help a person manage their satiation, their satisfaction with their food, their healthy activity that they enjoy doing. We help build a new lifestyle. I also did want to tell everybody, and I'm very proud about this, in case you haven't seen here, this is soon coming. This is no morbidity. This is our appetite control uh, supplement that is coming out with four, and you guys can check them out here if you can see it, but four patented ingredients at their humanly, clinically tested doses uh, that help a person... Avoid feelings of hunger. They help a person with their mood, their stability. They actually help a person with their glyconeogenesis, which is for turning fat into energy. So this is a very dear project that we have been working on for a long time. Uh, there'll be more about this uh, to come in the next uh, uh, in the next couple of weeks. It's going to be for sale in, in the very beginning of April. We are hoping to help millions of people get control of their hunger, so they can then get control of their lifestyle, so then they can get to a healthy life, uh, a healthy life, and maintain it. Um, it is an absolutely fabulous pro uh, product. Uh, if I don't say so myself, the ingredients work amazingly. And again, they're, at, they're clinically dosed, patented ingredients. So they have been human tested. Uh, it is amazing. 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 Uh, Dave, you already you have not got some. You've gotten probably gotten Ember. And Ember is, uh, Ember is the, a, a fat burner that has... Uh, stimulants and thermogenics. This is a non-stimulant based, non-thermogenic based. Anybody can take this. Anybody can take this. It's non-thermogenic, non-stimulant based. So anybody can take it. And I am actually going to stack that with Ember out here for my coming training phase. And I will be taking everybody along that's in our hunger management group, which does come along with being a client, but also comes along with the 30 minute consultation for a month. Uh, I guide, I talk to everybody about my food, my hydration, uh, and my activity for each day. And I'm going to guide, take people along the journey for me to get in the best shape I've ever been in on my 51st birthday. So you can also check that out too. The hunger management support group works very, very well for people. Um, it comes with free, uh, with free, it comes with pre-recorded and live hit style training yoga courses that my wife teaches. My wife is a genius when it comes to, uh, training and yoga and hit style training and everything like that. And uh, she has been going on walks with people just to get people motivated, like a group walk with people. So if you're interested in that, you can check that out too. Now, uh, I'm going to say hi to a few people. And then we're going to talk about, uh, uh, we are going to talk about Lindo Bacon and the fat acceptance community and how they are eating their own, how they are literally, they're, they're so, they're, they eat so much, they're actually eating their own. And if that offends you, by the way, I would like to tell everybody, we keep getting people coming onto these lives. And then getting all offended in the comments about how I use the word fuck. I speak how I would normally speak in front of just about any fucking person. I do not watch my PC cues for anybody. And I certainly do not change how I speak for any fucking buddy. Um, if you have ever heard me give a lecture, uh, one of the things I talk to people about when I give lectures, if, if it's a paid speaking engagement, I tell them there is going to be fucking swearing. If it offends you, I'm sorry you're so fucking fragile, but you should get the fuck out of here right now because your fragility is going to only hurt you. You saying you don't like my swearing after I've even given you a disclaimer that I'm going to fucking swear a lot only makes you look stupid and fucking fragile. So instead, just be fucking fragile and leave instead of looking stupid and being fragile at the same fucking time. Um, let's see. Nicole Ann, how the fuck are you doing? Janet, what's going on? Parker S., Casey the most, how the fuck you doing? Casey is a very inspirational young man, has lost a lot of fucking weight. Keep going. Havoc, how are you doing? Pastor Allen, I like it. Elizabeth, how are you? Jordan, uh, Jars, nice to see you. Fox, Fox, Kaylee, Teresa, Nicole, the Lit Bomb, lots of familiar faces, lots of new faces. The Little Pocket, I don't think we've seen you before, Little Pocket. Uh, El Fitty, what's happening? 
uh, Tam Tam, uh, can't pronounce it, but how the fuck you doing? Subhine, Daniel Williams, Daniel Williams, suspension sister training. Is that like TRX? Yes. I just like to, st- I don't like to give a, a plug to TRX. Although that's what I use. I do use a TRX system. They work very, very well. Um, although I did, uh, the, one of my, one of the anchors snapped last year and I'm fucking almost killed me. I hit the ground so hard. I can't, I can't believe how, how, how hard I hit the ground the night I wasn't injured. It hurt so bad. Uh, so find what's going on. Angela, how are you doing? You love the packaging. Is that not fucking sweet? So we are partnered up with the Ambrosia Collective. Uh, this is one of the first in the line of, line of uh, products that we are probably going to be releasing in the next year or so. Uh, hopefully and then forming our own brand with, with no morbidity with the same partners from, from, uh, from Ambrosia. But we wanted to make sure we got this out as quickly as possible to as many people as possible because it is going to help a lot of people gain control. That, like, it is amazing what you can do and the habits you can build uh, when you are in the absence of hunger. Uh, it's amazing how much easier it is to face the issues you have when it comes to eating processed carbohydrates or eating sugar too much or just overeating in general when your hunger is either diminished or removed. And one of the things that works with this is it, it, uh, it helps with the, it helps to, uh, to minimize the effect of ghrelin. It helps, to, helps your body to produce less ghrelin, which is the hunger hormone that makes you actually hungry. So um, it's going to help lots and lots of people. Like that, that is the goal. We're also going to be releasing with it uh, hung, some hunger management tips just on like, you know, eat 90%, all, 90 95% of all proce- you know, you know, non-processed foods, meats, vegetables, that sort of thing. Uh, all the stuff I talk about all the time where there's going to be a downloadable PDF for people uh, that helps people to then build these healthy habits while they're using the product in order to try to maintain, get to a healthy weight and everything like that. So uh, we are trying, we are literally going to do whatever we can to help get as many people healthy as humanly possible. We've got about 220 to 240 million obese people in America, or excuse me, overweight people in America. We've got probably somewhere around 165 million to 170 million obese people in America. Uh, super morbidly obese. We probably have 100 million or more people that are super morbidly obese that are, that are literally uh, at a BMI of 40 or above. That's the statistics are just staggering. The, the wave of chronic illness and disease cannot possibly be. Uh, seen as anything but biblical that is coming after the great fattening of 2020. And we're going to do everything we fucking can to make sure that we help as many people as possible. If me saying this upsets you, if you think that being fat is not something that you should be worried about, I invite you to you know, get some fucking clinical mental health counseling because you are indeed fucking crazy. Hi, sweetie. Yes. She wants to say hello to everybody. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, say hi. It's everybody. Yes. My baby. Okay. Run along. Now oh, you got cat hair all over me. Um, but, God, she's shedding. Woo! Uh, and Crystal brushes her like every fucking day. She just like big fuck ball. Um, but uh, we are trying to help as many people as humanly possible, try to get as healthy as possible to avoid having stum- you know, literally three-fourths of their stomach cut out or being on very serious or harsh pharmaceuticals. All of these ingredients in this product are shown to be very safe and effective in their own. And they're shown to be, again, clinically, humanly uh, tested, effective in their own out in their own standing alone. So we combine the four together. Uh, and the combination is amazing for managing your hunger. Literally amazing. Um, and I am going to very much invite everybody to think about the, the benefit of it. It will likely... And I mean, I, I say this because food prices, especially with food prices soaring, this will pay itself off in the food you don't eat every single month. It'll pay itself off. We are the first run, for those of you that are interested, will be in early April. And I would suggest you get probably two months worth because it is going to sell out very quickly. And then it's going to take another four to five weeks to restock in a much larger fashion. Uh, that's how product lines get launched. So anyway, enough about that. We are, going to t- we are here to talk about Lindo Bacon being ostracized by the fat acceptance community. Because they didn't do exactly what you fucking wanted to say. Anyway, uh, dude already got some. Like I said, I think you got Ember, Dave. But I, I hope that's working for you too. I'm actually going to be working trying Ember. Uh, it should be arriving tomorrow. And I'm going to start, by the way, with the Hunger Management Support Group. I'm going to start sharing my, the entire supplements that I take every single day. I'm going to try to take uh, show your people people my workouts. That's the only place I'll be going to be discussing workouts is in the Hunger Management Group with people because I, that's that's just personal to me. Um, and I do not make my money off my body. I make my money off of my content and my thought process, and I don't want this to become some sort of thing where that's all that's all this is about. Now, do I am I going to show 
show my my physicality this year? Of course I am. I'm a fucking dude, and I got a fucking ego. But um, it's that's not what it's about. It's about just being healthy. Anyway, Elizabeth, thank you very much. Brittany, how are you? Gina, how are you? Yolt, what's happening? Uh, Amanda Archer, what's going on? Let's see. Hey, I'm uh, waving, um, waving you on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Sweet. I think you meant to say watching, but it's all good. Uh, excellent. We'll, uh, we'll be out just in time for me to ask my cardiologist if I can take take it when I go to an appointment. Very, very, very good. Uh, and looks it, it does look similar. Uh, most of their packaging, this is, by the way, this is what I use for pre-workout. This is Mental Jewels. And their packaging is just fucking sleek and sexy as fuck. Um, Elk, how are you? The plant-based based PA. What's going on, my fucker? Samantha, Fox Fox already said hi. Gur Egg, what's going on? I think I've said hi to almost everybody. And then can't wait to uh, can't wait to buy this stuff. Thank you very much, Casey. I appreciate it. The group walks are fun. Tam Tam, we are we are glad you like them. Uh, Corey Corey, lots of people. Okay, so I'm just gonna sc scroll down here. Fuck, lots of people. God damn. I saw a video uh, on this, Linda. He was actually very polite. There's not the thing is, uh, Drella, how you doing? Ross, how you doing? Uh, Ross, how you doing? And I'll make sure I got to everybody. Watch yesterday's live this AM. I work at a sports medicine PA, and you would be amazed how many ACL injuries we see due to uh, due to obese people jumping around on trampoline parks. Fucking, I can imagine. I literally can imagine. Uh, T. Aron, how are you? Anyway, so for those of you that don't know, Lindo Bacon. Um, and you used to be called Linda Bacon, but then she started identifying as a man. So I will, uh, I will humor, uh, the, even though I still think she, think, I still think she looks like a woman to me. I will humor calling him, him. Um, Lindo, uh, is somebody that has been propagated and propped up by the fat acceptance community for years now. As a matter of fact, when I first started making videos about this and I started talking about how indeed you're showing statistics, facts, reality, that being obese was in fact bad for you. Most of the fat people would say, you should check out the work of Lindo Bacon. She totally, totally refutes this. Like this person's opinion somehow refuted science and fact and just reality because like we fucking see you struggling to stand up, you know? Um, so uh, I find it funny that now they're very upset with her. I, I do find it like it's like for years they used her and uh, Christina, Christy Harrison, who's a fucking another charlatan fucking whack nut, um, in my opinion, of course. Uh, they they would use these people's work to somehow refute the data, I would say. And now that they're now they're upset with their, their fucking work. And I just think like this also shows like how woke culture is very negative because you're never going to be woke enough for people. Like, I mean, it, 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 you're just never going to be, no matter what. Lindo Bacon is literally, I mean, she identifies as a, as a sex that's not hers uh, biologically, and they're coming for her. Like, I just, because she's not fat, basically. It's kind of crazy. And she's not fat, she's not black. That's literally what I think it boils down to. We are, I have not read this whole article. I just saw this video, did a little bit of fucking... Uh, let me see. You actually felt sorry for Lindo? Why? Why? Wow. Crazy. You, you know, you don't need you don't need to feel sorry for crazy. So, uh, except she used outdated studies that have been debunked through uh, the last twenty nine years. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Like, I mean you can't just fucking like they used to. T the doctors used to say that cigarettes were healthy, and that's a fucking reality, you know. Um, but here we go. Uh, we are going to read this article, and then we are going to discuss as a big group of people because that's who we are. Uh, and then we're going to talk about people's W's for the day, people winning. Okay. So this is the Association for Size, Diversity, and Health. I'm not saying it's, it's ridiculous on face value. But unless the Association for Size, Diversity, and Health means no matter how big you are, you are trying to get to a healthy weight, whether no, whether it be you're underweight or overweight, you're trying to be as healthy as you can, which would then involve the reality. If you're morbidly obese, being healthier does involve losing fucking weight. It is a reality. It is not a made up story. It is just, I mean, we even talked about it yesterday. Gravity, gravity exists. Gravity. Like the, the more you weigh, the more gravity pulls on you. 
It, it, it's just, it's such, it's so mind numbing. Or if you're underweight because, and you're, you're starving yourself and you're malnutrition, you know, gaining, you know, eating more, getting better nutrition, that would be important too. They won't ever talk about that. Skinny people don't fucking matter. Uh, they, 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 skinny people do not like fucking matter at all, at all, at all, at all. But we are going to look at the, uh, the healthy at every size approach. And that means I, they're going to use the, the, the phrase that like, I, I believe they're going to use the phrase that, that you can do healthy things at any size until you admit that being fat as fuck is indeed unhealthy for you. We're, we're at a, we're at a, a standstill. This was March 10th, 2000, uh, 2022. So it was just the other day. It was just 12 fucking days ago. And this is huh, holding Lindo Bacon accountable for repeated harm in the fat liberation and the Hayes community. And I got to say fat liberation uh, has got to be the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard of. Um, the only good fat liberation would be to liberate fat from your body via caloric deficit and like being healthier. That, 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 that is the only, and that's only if you are at, uh, if you're overweight or obese, like that is the only fat liberation that is in any way realistic. The rest of that is just fucking bullshit, ridiculous comedy. But like, you're not liberating yourself from shit. Like you, you want to liberate yourself from what? From not being able to fucking walk? From fucking diabetes? The shit like that. Like it's stupid. It's just, I mean, it, this, this is literally like the, the conversations that children have with each other when they're talking play pretend. Like that's what it is. It's just play pretend bullshit. That's all this is. So anyway, to our value in fat liberation in the Hayes community. I, I, I laugh every time I, I, I say it because it is fucking, again, laughable. Six months ago, Dr. Lindo Bacon reached out, and I love how they just fucking make a whole article trashing this woman who had done, like, literally this woman's work was the only reason, like, was, was one of the keystone basic points about the, the fat acceptance community for a long fucking time. But now they're, like, going to just fucking go at her because she didn't do exactly what they fucking said. Six months ago, Dr. Lindo Bacon reached out to the ASDA leadership team about their, about their intent to write uh, a revised Health at Every Size book. What transpired has caused a great deal of harm and heavy burden on emo of emotion labor, uh, emotional labor for our team. Ha what harm? Like, if words harm you, I, I would highly suggest you fucking uh, grow the fuck up. If words harm you? What the fuck is wrong with you? You fucking weak ass pussies. It's, it's time to grow the fuck up. Society needs to grow the fuck up. Words harming you. Like, what the fuck? I mean, so this is the whole, like, don't be mean thing. Nothing's meaner than lying to a fat person's face and telling them they're okay. That's mean. That's mean. You are, like, you're, you're still not harming that person because they know you're lying to them. They know, they, you know how they know they're lying to them? They have to hold their breath when they tie their shoes. That's how they know they're, that you're lying to them. You know, anyway. While we have grappled with the specifics of how to respond over the few months. You've grappled with how to respond over a few months? Jesus Christ, I fucking, uh, I fucking respond to people, right? Like, if you have to think about shit that hard, you don't know your fucking shit. You know, if you don't, if you have to think about it super fucking hard, if you have to plan out the fucking response, then you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That's, that's, the, that's why it's, it's like a joke. It's a fucking joke. Anyway, uh, Marquise Marced, recent account, Marquise Mar Marced's recent account. We're going to fucking open that up. Take a look at it. Uh, this is on, this is also, we'll go back and read that. Of her experiences with Lindo's illuminated that Lindo's harmful actions were a pattern in the greater community. This knowledge was catalyzed, was catalyzed our response. We are in solidarity with Marquise and others who have experienced harm by Lindo. Well, they're fucking going at her. Uh, we want to provide transparency about the conversation and context of our decisions as the, as the leadership team. In September, uh, I, I bet you they're fuck. I bet you the hair colors at that fucking board meeting are hilarious. Uh, in September of 2021, Lindo reached out for out to Veronica Garnett, Ashta's vision and strategic uh, strategy leader, outlining their plan to revisit their book titled Healthy at Every Size. Lindo asked if there, if we had any concerns or feedback 
on this project, which that's a stupid fucking thing to do. What? It's your fucking work. Like, why the fuck are you worried about it? These people have built a name off this woman. Uh, uh, these people have built a name off of this woman. This, none of these people would even have a fucking voice if it wasn't for this woman. Like, and I'm not defending Lindo Bacon. I, I think they are a fucking idiot. I think they are like com take complete advantage of fat people because she and the, her they or whatever fucking uh, are not in fact uh, are not in fact fat. I, I, I do think that it was a complete uh, thing where they took advantage of the situation to make money. But as a newsflash, fat people, everybody takes advantage of you to make money because everybody can. You know who takes the most advantage of you to make money? The food industry. The pharma industry, they take the most advantage of you because you consume more food and you consume more pharma than any other segment of fucking society. They want you to be fat. That, that's, that's why we, we fucking humor this bullshit. They want you to be fat. So if you're worried about all that shit, stop eating. Stop going to fucking McDonald's every day. Stop you know, doing these whole days worth of fucking eating food because if you want to know who's taking advantage of the fat community... Fast food, the food industry, the pharma industry, they're the ones taking advantage of you. They're the ones keeping you ill. They're the ones telling you that you're fine the way you are while you fucking consume more than anything, more than any other sector, you consume their products. You want to know who's taking the most advantage of the fat acceptance or the fat community? The food industry and the pharma industry. They take more advantage of that than anybody else. I would love to hear arguments to say different. Please, we're going to continue. Um, anyway, uh, the communications, Lindo's first email to the Asda leadership. Hi, as you know, it's, it, it's, distur it's disturbing to me and perhaps to you that my book entitled Hayes is sometimes people's first introduction to Hayes, though it introduces an inadequate version of Hayes, as I wrote on my website. As proud as I am of the book, I'm also aware of some of its shortcomings, including some of the ways in which it transit transmits my unexamined privilege and does it, it does damage. Um, uh, I would like to write an updated 15th anniversary version uh, to be published in 2023 so that I don't continue to do this damage and I'm able to put out a, a more modern perspective. As a newsflash, there is no more privileged people in the world than the United States fat person, none. No, no, nobody is allotted and allows the. T it is allowed the space to live uh, by gluttoning themselves into chronic illness that then all of society has to bear the uh, burden for in both cost, lost lives, and burden on our healthcare system than the United States fat community. None, absolutely fucking zero. Because then we have literally propped them up on a pedestal to make it so you cannot even tell them that they are fat without it seeming like there's something wrong with you. You cannot even suggest to them that they get healthy so they are not at high risk of fucking viruses, which we have dealt with for the last two years to the point where we shut down all of fucking society for. But even though we had to shut down all of fucking society and damage children's lives in massive, immense ways and damage the future of our fucking civilization. We have not told fat people to lose fucking weight because they are at high risk, even though next to age, they are at more risk than any other fucking segment. It is fucking privilege. Obesity in America is abject fucking privilege to overconsume in a way that you are going to make yourself morbidly obese, that you are going to overconsume yourself into fucking illness that then everybody has to fucking help support. And we are not, we are then will also not mention it to you that it is unfair that you burden society and burden yourself and burden your fucking families. That is fucking privilege. There's nobody, nobody more privileged on the planet than a United States obese person. You are not suppressed. You are not in any fucking way uh, marginalized. You are not in any fucking way discriminated against. If anything, you are allowed the fucking area. You have the wealth that you can to, in fact, fatten yourself to what used to be only for rich people and shit like that. You are fucking privileged. 
Privileged. Obese people are privileged. Anyway, before I dive into this project, I wanted to run it by you. I wanted to know if there were any concerns or anything you wanted to discuss. It's important to me to include acknowledgement, as I did in my previous books, uh, that it's not a definition, uh, def definitive version of Hayes, and that I'm not the founder of Hayes. I think the earlier editions were quite successful at getting Hayes on the map. It's very, like, the, they owe all, the entirety of anybody even knowing who the fuck they are to her. Hit him, whatever, them. Um, I'm trying. I, 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 the best you're going to get is an effort. I'm just saying. Uh, and that this new edition will further that and also serve to bring addition, addition to ASDA and explain ASDA's reach. Uh, ASDA's reach is, can't be farther than the refrigerator, just saying. Perhaps ASDA would consider writing, excuse me, a foreword. <clears throat> Cat hair in my mouth. Uh, though I don't need a uh, commitment at this point. Ah, mm. Sorry. Here, for example, is what I did previously. And in the ver this version, I don't want updates. These con I'd want to want to update these concepts. Hang on a second, guys. Mm. Ah, thank you. From body perspective, Hayes is an entirely hopeful, helpful doctrine, and it belongs not to a single author, but to large and growing cohort of people, lay and professional, who are bound by their mutual desire for respect and equality and by their challenging of commonly held assumptions about that. Okay, here's, a, here's reality. If fat people want respect, they got to respect themselves. you got to respect yourself enough to live in the actual realm of reality of which you being fat is in fact bad for you. You need to live in the realm of reality where obesity is an absolute fucking choice. I don't give a fuck who the fuck you are. Nobody is above losing weight. Anybody could eat less or move a little bit more and or eat, eat, eat a little bit more. Nobody is doomed to obesity. If you want respect, live in the world of fucking reality. If you want respect, live in the world of goddamn reality. If you want respect, start respecting yourself enough to try to get healthy because you can't actually you know, claim that people don't respect you when it's very clear that you harm yourself on a daily basis by being morbidly obese and then eating yourself to either stay morbidly obese or get morbidly obeser. So, I mean, you cannot fucking actually be pissed at people who don't respect you when you, in fact, do not show respect to yourself. Just saying. Or what I wrote in the original Hayes book that uh, in the section of community acknowledgement, the concept of healthy at every size has a long history that predates me and includes many diverse viewpoints. I am grateful to the pioneers who helped us envision the possibilities of a paradigm shift and to the many other freedom fighters who continue to conceptualize and growth uh, freedom fighters. <laughs> uh, uh, freedom fighters. Freedom from what? Free, freedom from what? Freedom from mobilized scooters? No, no, no. We're, we're, we're making more of those. Uh, free, freedom from being a slave to their addiction to sugar and processed carbohydrates? No, no. Pretty much fucking, that, that's pretty much locked solid. Freedom from the pharmaceutical industry? <laughs> uh, fuck no. You guys are slaves of that shit. You're slaves. They're not freedom fighters. If you are fighting for people to stay fat, you are not freedom fighters. You are, you are oppressors. You are oppressing people into believing that they are free when they are, in fact, slaves to the fucking food industry and slaves to the fucking pharmaceutical industry. That is fucking pathetic right there. That is fucking pathetic right there. Right there. Fucking ridiculous. Ridiculous. Uh, choosing a book title was a conflict, uh, conflicted pr uh, process as I intended to bring health, uh, attention to Healthy Every Size movement and share my perspective on it. The main title, Healthy Every Size, was a natural option. The first edition of the book has been out for a year now, and I'm thrilled to feel success on in both aspects. The downside to using the word in the title, however, is that it may give off the impression that this is the uh, treatise to Healthy Every Size and that the only way to articulate the movement. It's not... There are many diver uh, divergent viewpoints with healthy resize movement. Uh, do you have any thoughts? Blah, 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 blah. Here is their, uh, uh, here's the follow-up, uh, 921. Uh, sent to Annie only. Annie is white. So here we go. We're about to apply racism to fatness. 
Hi, Annie. Hope you're doing well. Things are things good here. I sent a couple emails to Veronica and never heard back. I asked her to confirm receipt and didn't hear back on that either. About to forward them to you. I'm sure you can take care of. Sorry, not more personal. I'm in total. I, I, I'm in total get things done mode right now, but I hope things are good. For an response, Lindo, thank you very much for your patience and responding. I'm only allotted a certain number of hours per week to work on Azure stuff, and I, I've just not had the capacity to respond until now. Thank you for the capacity to respond to a fucking email. Uh, thank you so much for running this by me. I will make sure that that this with the rest of the team and discuss. First off, I'm so appreciative of the fact that of the work you've done to uh, every size on the map. Your work, your book, which which I first which. I first learned about over a decade ago during grad school was my first introduction to Hayes. Despite its limited perspective and shortcomings, your book uh, had a, a profound impact on my personal and professional life. Since my first introduction to Hayes, my my own understanding fat politics, fat politics, fat politics. What fat politics? Are, are, are you going to lobby for better Oreo prices? I, I, what the fat politics? I mean. How, how about like you not use up all, all the healthcare resources politics? How about you not raise the price of insurance politics? How about you not eat yourself to death so we have to watch you fucking suffer politics? Fucking weak ass pieces of shit. And social justice praxis uh, have grown and evolved immensely. I'm sure yours has too. And my questions to you are, as an ally or, a, or accomplice of social justice movements, had you considered passing the opportunity along to any of the fat, BIPOC, disabled, lower social economic status, et cetera, folks who are doing this work and whose voices need to be centered and uplifted? So she's supposed to not make a book because she's not fat or not black or not uh, disabled or not. I mean, what the fuck? Or of lower economics. She's not supposed to do her shit because of these things. Uh, so in other words, you want to liberate yourself, fat liberate yourself by having somebody else give you shit, give you opportunities instead of earning it. Fucking weak ass shit. Had you considered just letting the first Hayes book go out of print publication so that new voices who are deeply impacted by fat hatred, nobody hates fat people more than fat people hate themselves. You can use that as a sound bit. Nobody hates fat people more than fat people hate themselves. Could be ushered in. Have you could like so? What they could be ushered in if they make their own shit. What fuck? So they don't want the competition. That's fucking bullshit. Had you considered other ways you could give up some your privilege, some of your privilege and power, in order to create a more equitable and just movement? Again, nobody is more privileged in America than the American fucking fat person. This is fucking insanity to me. Ridiculous. If you write this book, regardless of updated into modern perspective, you will be perpetuating harm by you're perpetuating harm by centering the experience at a perspective of a relatively affluent, thin, straight-sized white person. Shut the fuck up. So, because she's not fat, she has no perspective. It's, it, 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 fucking insane. So, thin people are just the enemy. Thin white people. Thin, white, straight-sized people are the enemy. Fucking pathetic. You people are fucking pathetic. Pathetic. Oh, my God. I can't even fucking get over it. Sharing this singular perspective of Hayes at this moment in history will drown out the voices of those that have lived experience of being fat, black, indigenous, Latinx, which, by the way, most most uh, of my friends who are Latino fucking hate the fucking phrase Latinx, disabled, etc. Their voices are uh, are the divergent viewpoints the world needs to hear. So that's your opinion. That, that, that's 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 this, this person's opinion. It's fucking crazy. Additionally, if you write this book, it may bring uh, attention to ASDA, but I doubt it will expand the reach of communities and people who who we want to uh, center our work. As the, and the larger Healthy at Every Size movement, larger Healthy at Every Size movement, uh, historically has been a current, historically has been and currently is overwhelmed, white, thin, affluent, and otherwise privileged, which again, nobody more privileged than people that can actually overconsume to the point of uh, obesity. If you can afford to glutton yourself into obesity and then claim everybody else should take care of it for you, that is fucking privileged. Um, Oh, my God. As, if ASDA is to survive and thrive to be a leader in the social justice movement, we cannot 
have more of the same. If you're to survive and thrive in any movement, maybe you guys need to lose some fucking weight because you got to start dying off pretty fucking quickly here. Uh, with all that said, I would like to give you a heads up if you would be able to attend the ASDA annual meeting tomorrow. We have been envisioning and planning different ways to not only take back the Hayes narrative, but to place it in the hands of the most marginalized in our community. Pri who's the, the most marginalized in your community are the people that I would imagine glutton themselves the most. The most privileged are actually viewed as the most, the most the people that have eaten themselves into the most obesity, who are the most privileged and consuming the most food and the most calories compared to other people that actually fucking starve themselves to death. Um, that They're the most privileged that way, who then are disabled because of it, and then society has to take care of. That is fucking privilege. Privilege. Fucking weak-ass motherfuckers. Good God. As the annual meeting. Jesus Christ. I can't even. Lindo's, we're just going to go to Lindo's response. So. Hi, Veronica. Sorry it's taking so long to respond. I'm glad my first book was meaningful to you. The rest of your email did not land well. Uh, I'm going to take uh, take a pass on responding to your questions. Uh, questions are engaging. I wrote my initial email to you to get more info so I can take the most responsible and respective decision. Uh, and I and I did get what I needed from your response. Thanks. I look forward to hearing opinions from the board as well. I can I can connect with you and your uh, with you with my publisher when you're ready. Uh, Linda's follow response. Hi, Victoria. Hope your week is going well. Things are going well here. I'm really enjoying some writing I'm doing now. Uh, it's great to wake up every morning wanting to jump off the bed so I can see what comes next. You see that little fucking dig that she can jump off her bed as a thin, thin, straight sized person when there ain't no fucking jumping going on for the obese people. Um, just saying. Uh, you had written, I look forward to getting the team's feedback and discussing this with you further. Do you have uh, a sense of when this might happen? I, uh, I need to move forward in decision making. My publisher needs this too. Uh, it's always surprising how long it takes to get things to press, and there's a bit of pressure on them to make it happen. This doesn't have to be formal. I'm just looking forward to hearing the, the, what people are thinking. Sure you are. Uh, to make sure I've considered this from all angles. Different perspectives are good. Don't need a consensus statement. I can, uh, it can be almost be verbal. Perhaps you want to uh, include me for a short time on one of your group calls. By the way, if, you're, if you or your team have any questions about, pu about publishing, as an insider who's been through it, I'm happy to help out. I think I can offer some insight that can be helpful to you. For example, you're, uh, you thought it was possible for me to give this opportunity to someone else. It is not. In publishing, opportunities like this are meted out to specific people, which, duh, common fucking sense, not ideas. I don't want to overstep here and offer unsolicited advice, but do let me know if it is ever helpful for you to speak with me more about as just publishing. I think it would be awesome if you could publish the book you want, and I'm happy to support Ajda. I know, <laughs> I now, uh, now, I know you think our books would be competitive. Seems like your team isn't sure of what they want to do, but I can imagine any book from Ajda would write that would complete compete uh, with mine. Rather, I think that they would be complimentary. But I get what you're saying. Blah blah blah. Um, this is a follow. It seems like Linda's following up here. Uh, you know, the, she's meeting with her publisher. She just gets it to it. Lindo's email uh, just a couple months ago, what, uh, two months ago. Uh, Hi, Victoria. No response necessary. I get frequent requests for interviews and speaking gigs and often try to refer them out. Today, I got a request that I thought you might uh, might be a good match for you. It's prominent podcast, which a uh, good op to get. So she's offering shit up to these people. What the fuck? Veronica's response email. Hi, Lindo. Thank you for your patience and waiting for a response. I am currently not taking personal business media requests. But I am, but I and other folks on the ASTA team would be happy to speak on behalf of ASTA in print interviews, podcasts, videos, and speaking gigs. This uh, The best way for us folks to be reached in a team, blah, 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 blah. Leadership letter. Lindo, please find attached ASTA's team leader response for guns to healthier size book. All future correspondence should be sent directly to me, Anna Jensen. Uh, attached letter. Dear Lindo. God. In your initial email correspondence to Veronica, you wrote, I would like to write an updated 15th anniversary to the public, blah, 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 blah. The Agile leadership stands behind Veronica's thoughtful response uh, and publishing an updated version would do harm and damage to the community by continuing uh, to center white, thin voices in the movement. So they're telling her they don't want her to write this book, even though she's the only fucking reason anybody knows who the fuck they are. She should be pissed at this. Uh, the... Uh, the 
that as the leadership team does not approve or agree with you moving forward with this project. So are they transphobic? Is Ajda transphobic then? Because Linda's a, tra Linda's a trans male. Are they transphobic? So that sounds pretty transphobic to me. Uh, because they don't want her to move forward because she's a thin white woman. It also sounds very fucking racist too, by the way. But um, we had Asda, the holder, uh, the hold, the holder and protector of the healthy and every size, the holder and protector the, of the trademarks. Oh my goodness! Uh, are committed to promoting a, an inclusive vision of healthy and every size, which centers those most marginalized and harmed by fat phobia. In the healthcare system, you guys burden the healthcare system more than any fucking segment of society. If anything harms the healthcare system, it's your fucking weight on it. You guys are literally sitting on the fucking chest of the healthcare industry and you're claiming that other people fucking harm it or that it harms you. I mean, fucking what? 91% of all fucking pharmaceutical prescriptions written are fucking uh, chronic illness related. Are you fucking kidding me? This is fucking delusional. Your authorship of a revised Healthy at Every Size uh, book will cause confusion with as to work promoting Healthy at Every Size. A Healthy at Every Size book will be uh, uh, reasonably interpreted. I, I don't even like, I, I think this just goes on and on and on and on and on. So much fucking more. I just, I, I don't even fucking, we're going to, we're going to, we've been 41 minutes of me reading. So we're just going to fucking get to discussion. If you have asked questions, or made statements, feel free to remake them. I'm at the very bottom. I, I just want to fucking, unfucking believable, unfucking believable. She needs to tell them to sit and spin. I would, if somebody told me not to write a book because they didn't agree with, agree with me writing it because I'm a fucking uh, white bald dude, I would literally say to fuck all the way off, uh, all the way off, all the fucking way off, all, all, all the way. You don't need I mean, the unreal. And I, they're gonna. They're, it's because they have the trademark. If I was Linda, I would, I would, I would, I would just call it health at every size or something like that. Fucking change it just a little bit. Fucking that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm old enough to remember when body positivity was about disfigured bodies, like missing limbs and shit. Me fucking too. No, that's what it should be about. They fucking co-opted that, and then so now fat phobia is. They're equating fat phobia to racism and homophobia and all that bullshit, which I find fucking hilarious. Because it seems like to me they're discriminating against somebody who is identifies as a sex not biologically theirs or non-binary. I'm not even sure. I don't keep up with Linda. But that seems pretty fucking transphobic to me. Like they're acting like she's not some sort of fucking you – know, what the fuck? Here's the fucking thing. Obesity makes up over 50% of the fucking population. You're not a fucking minority. You're not marginalized in any stretch of the fucking way. You are privileged as fuck. If you are obese, you are privileged as fuck. You are privileged, privileged. If shit would go down fucking crazy, the world is insane right now. If shit would go down like fucking crazy and you're a 300 pound fat motherfucker, somebody's going to have to protect your ass about sh from shit happening. Like if somebody were to come and invade the fucking country, you would be a detriment. You realize that you would be a fucking detriment. It would take more resources to keep you alive. People would have to protect your ass because you can't fucking protect yourself. You are a fucking detriment to society when you're obese. Get there faster. Just when I thought they couldn't get any worse. They're fucking horrible people. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i sorry, but they're fucking horrible people. It sounds to me like this group wants to claim Lindo's first book. They want to, this group wants to claim Lindo's first book. Do they think that they can write a sequel and stuff like that? Like, for, like, so can you give the opportunity to somebody else? That's not how publishing works. She has a contract with the publisher. You have to be full on fucking stupid to think she could just be like, yeah, you write this book for me with my publisher. First of all, why would she say no to, why would, why would she allow you in her fucking wallet? Secondly, most of you, like you guys are not going to have the same impact because you're not the same fucking author. Nobody's going to give a fuck about your fat ass. If they really cared about the about uh, about the cause, wouldn't they want the prominent figures to promote it? I don't get it. That's what I'm saying too. Nobody knows who these fucking people are. They know who she is. Fucking crazy. Now imagine how the group would, would have reacted if if Awesome Sauce had eaten from their bowls. Uh, I fucking hear it. No shit. That, that, she, she actually doesn't do that. Well, she used doesn't do that anymore. She Crystal's fucking broken her that habit anyway. Um, 
if they cared about the cause, uh, wouldn't care about about the appearance of somebody. Exactly. What the fuck? Uh, this one, I no shit, and I'm not a fan of Lindo because I think she's fucking full on delusional too, just in, on many fucking aspects. But I can tell you this: she did way more than I would fucking do. Way more than I, she reached out to them to try to fucking get their input, and then they're telling her not to make the fucking book. I don't think she fucking was looking for permission to write the book. I think she was looking for like, hey, can I have your input to make it so it, I can fucking help you know, help you guys out. That was way fucking more, way fucking more than what I would have done. Way the fuck more than what I would have done. I can't even fucking believe that they're like, yeah, you can help us out by not writing your book. Shut the fuck up. What the fuck? That's insane. That's in fucking insane. If I was her, I would sue them for the, fu- for the fucking trademark. Uh, when a group wants uh, some of that sweet, sweet victimhood revenue. No shit. Tragic that people are, tr- are trying to put themselves in a group of sexism and racism. It's time we wrestle, we wrestle body positivity away from toxic fatties and bring it back to people that was meant for. I fucking agree with that shit. It's time, if, if, for body positivity, you need to be able to look at yourself in a positive light and do the very best you can to be as healthy as fucking possible. Be- being positive about your body is not claiming victimhood because of it. That's the fucking reality. Being positive is treating your body in a very fucking healthy way. Being Like, say you don't have a fucking leg. Be as healthy as you can. Fucking accept that shit. Move the fuck on and be as healthy as you can. Live as full of a fucking life as you can. A full life is does not just, like, circle around Domino's pizza. That is not a full fucking life. You know? 54 today was 270 down to 180 when, uh, when lockdown menopause happened. Woke up at 210. Uh, day 15, increasing water, walking down the hill. That is fucking outstanding. Great fucking job. I know, I understand sometimes like shit happens. You should be very proud of the readjustment. Very fucking proud. And by the way, Elk, just in case anybody's wondering, here is our coaching and the uh, 30 minute one time consultation. So please do fucking check that out, everybody. Anyway, uh, on a side note, who's watching Chicken City? I'm fucking, who the, I don't know who the fuck that is. Uh, I don't remember a single fat kid in my elementary school. I'm 45. Me either. Uh, will fat acceptance people stop uh, re- referencing Linda's book now? I don't know what the fuck they're going to reference then. I don't know what the fuck they'd reference. Because they can't reference Christy Harrison's work then either because Christy Harrison referenced Lindo Bacon all the fucking time too. I'm glad this movement wasn't around when I was a teen. I felt uh, I feel for today's use, lost 50 pounds and kept it off uh, – for years, 40 and healthy. Great fucking job. That's a fucking hero. Boom. And yeah, for the for today's youth, like I, I was told I don't need to be healthy. You're fucking 16 and 300 pounds. You you're gonna be like like you need to get close to healthy at that stage. No shit. Four of the top eight United States top uh, top cause of mortality, the CDC are obesity related. Stop being delusional. No shit. No shit. Yet alone the fucking pandemic. I mean, fat people do not do well with the pandemic virus. If you're healthy and under the age of 65, this is less deadly than the fucking seasonal flu. Factually, according to CDC. Don't get all fucking upset there, you, you two, because that's just the fucking truth. They still go right into Linda's studies to attempt to prove their fantasy. No shit. No fucking shit. It's fucking crazy. Crazy. Uh, they don't need to reference anything because they make shit up. I, that's that's what it is, too, Jarella. That is, that is what it is, too. Oh, pop my back. I was almost 200 pounds at the beginning of the pandemic. Went uh, went a bit too extreme. It got down to 110. That is a little bit too extreme. But 130 now and maintaining. I wish I had a better relationship with food, though. We could possibly help you out with that, too, because we do help people that just are trying to maintain a better relationship with food instead of the seesaw. What it sounds to me like you're on the, the seesaw a little bit. And you just need to develop healthy habits that can make it so you can lead a lifestyle and not have to be so concerned with it. Because right now, you're probably very much wrestling with worrying about gaining weight, worry about losing weight. You're probably, you're probably right in that, right in there. And that's not necessarily a healthy place to be either. But you, you keep fucking trying that. And that is what a fucking hero looks like, for real. Haze is so dangerous. There's no, there's no such thing. Tour, uh, 23 tore my MCL from running. 83 pounds, uh, 83 pounds down in six years, 18 to go. And to be honest, uh, I still feel the pain in some joints. I'm sure I feel pain in my joints from being fat. Fucking for real. My parents never saw any obese kids. Now I see them everywhere in school. That's fucking sad. That's sad. Uh, feelings before facts. New world. Shush. When I was little in the 70s and 80s, there uh, there would be one fat kid in your class. Now it's half the kids. I say that shit all the time too. And that one fat kid was probably somebody that really did have 
uh, you know, uh, uh, hypothyroidism or something like that, that they didn't know how to diagnose or treat back then. There's been a lot of medical, uh, like Synthral was, Synthral was not even, or, uh, uh, Synthral, yeah, I think it's Synthral. Synthral or whatever, uh, was not even the fucking done. The thing that they, that they use uh, for it was not even a medication at the time. Uh, Lindo asked them, asked them their publishing plans and offered to help. And they said they were, weren't even planning to write a book, but Lindo still can't publish it. It's fucking, it's so fucking insane. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Again, one more time. Boom. Coaching and stuff. Uh, getting fat is absolute privilege. When I was getting fat, I, I did my budget and found I was spending $1,000 a month. Fixed my diet and here we go. And for those of you that are worried about hunger, I'm telling you, this will save more money than it costs. It's going to be very affordable too, by the way. Very affordable. Yeah, when, when we release, I would suggest everybody buy, buy two months worth, like I said, because it's going to fucking, uh, it's going to sell out very fucking quickly, very fucking quickly. And it will take uh, about five weeks to, for the second rehop to, to go. And the second rehop is going to be fucking big. So th there'll be plenty after that. But let's see. Yeah, there, uh, there was that one fat kid in class. One nowadays, it's it's one skinny kid. Very fucking seriously. Started my weight loss journey this year using your tips. Twenty pounds down since January. Very fucking good. Thank you very much. But you're the one doing the fucking work. I just put some common sense shit out there, and you fucking are taking advice to it. So very fucking good. Thank you very much for the compliment. But you're the one that's doing that shit. God damn. Uh, we're on the same page, Faith. I was two fifty, dropped to one ten after two years, and now I'm one thirty. Also. I could also help you out with that. I'm telling you, like that is the that is the problem. People get on very serious diets and then they lose all the weight they need to lose, and then they don't know what to do after the diet because they haven't built a systemic, uh, uh, sustainable life uh, lifestyle plan. So we can help you with that. That's actually what we do. Um, thank you guys for the for telling me what it is. Uh, I take it for my thyroid. I take uh, I take Armor Thyroid. Uh, how do I join the group walks? The group walks are, uh, you, you can sign up for a consultation or you can just sign up for uh, Damn Serenity, which I believe is included in that fucking thing. Give me one second. Boom, boom, boom. Give me one second. Whoops. Mm -mm -mm. So you can sign up for a consultation that gives you access to it, but then you can also, let me, you could just join up for Dan Serenity. Dan Serenity gives you the live and pre-recorded classes. Um, and it also gives you access to the hunger management support group too. So I'm getting, grabbing it for you right now. Products. And here it is. This gives you access to all that stuff, and the link to the uh, the link to the uh, to the walks and stuff like that. But release it then. It is it, it is an encapsulation and packaging right now. It is an encapsulation and packaging right now. I you trust me, you guys will know. I'm actually filming some videos today on the base on the ingredients for it. Some one minute short videos. They'll be released, so you guys can check that all, all out. That's what that's what I always tell people. I want, I want everybody to understand, like, this stuff, is, I, I'm not going to do anything unless it is at the clinically human tested doses, that it is shown to be effective. I have tested it out myself, and I tested it out myself last year, and I'm, I've just started back on it now, and I have no fucking hunger at all right now. Uh, it is benefit, and every single ingredient stands on its own with human clinically tested stuff that can be shown to be effective. That's what we do. And that's why I, that's one of the reasons why I started working with Mark is because Mark is one of the only people in the industry that will fucking do that shit. So no shit. I mean, truly great fucking man. So excited. Will you put the, put the announcement in the community tab here? I absolutely will. I absolutely will. Uh, you mean the announcement for the product or the announcement for the dance ready? I did dance ready, but uh, for the product, absolutely. I absolutely will. I want to switch to that, but my doc says synth, uh, synth is fine. Anyway. Uh, you know, it's funny when you show the body positive community that it was co-opted and started by a skinny white male in 1973. That's funny. That is funny. I want to get healthy so I can be an active and, and present parent when I have kids. I am only 30, 30 pounds as of today. Don't say only 30 pounds is 30 pounds. 
uh, now working to get where I, where I was before the pandemic. That is fucking outstanding. And Taylor, I'm telling you, we can fucking help you out. Uh, we can. And that is, the, that is the absolute best reason. Your family, your friends, uh, the people that are going to be influenced by you, uh, that is the best reason. That's what bothers me so bad about these people. You know, I mean, we, we, we want to pretend like obesity isn't contagious. It is very, very, very contagious societally, as we're seeing. Uh, as we accept more and more and more, like we try to lie and pretend that obesity is not somehow damaging to people, we see more and more and more people get obese. It's fucking crazy. Uh, we are about five minutes away from uh, five minutes away from the hour mark. So I wanted to let anybody know that uh, if you have any questions, any concerns, anything like that, please do let us know. Uh, and uh, or let me know. Let us know. You know what I'm saying. You know what the fuck I'm saying. Ask them. <laughs> Ask the questions. Anyway, there is one tomorrow if you join the day. There is one tomorrow if you join the day, a group walk. Uh, I do enjoy all the health info here. I'm doing low carb and low sugar, diagnosed as diabetic, so I'm working on that. Boom. Fucking, that's what fucking taking control of your goddamn life. That's what taking control of your life looks like. That is true positivity. That is true body positivity that you have been diagnosed with, with a chronic illness and you are trying to fucking correct it. You may have led you have may, may have led yourself down the path to that chronic illness, but you are fucking adulting, picking up your fucking pants and fucking saying to myself, "I'm going to put these on one leg at a time and get fucking healthy." That's what the fuck you're doing. Great fucking job. I work at a kindergarten and primary school here in Germany. The things those kids had in their lunch boxes were frightening. Some of those kids only had sweets all day long. That's fucking tragic. Fuck tragic. Just wanted to congratulate you for the no morbidity release via Ambrosia. Thank you very much. We are very fucking excited. Very fucking excited. Um, anyway, thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, Alan got the nail right in the head. After changing so much, I got used to the deficits lifestyle. Uh, after I got there, the goal, I was like, now what? That, and that happens. That happens with so many people. You need to build like like healthy activity that you like doing. You need to, it, it, like, we often tell people, like uh, people that, that are in our coaching, if you're losing it, like it should, it should feel like you're not good losing weight. Like you should be surprised. Like we have people weigh in periodically every two weeks or a month. Uh, and all of a sudden they're like, I can't believe I lost all that weight. That's how it should be because you're satiated with your food. You're satisfied with your food. You're doing healthy activity that you enjoy doing. That is what we coach people to do because that is a lifestyle. If, you know, if then the person lo doesn't lose quite the amount of weight we want to, we, we, we think that they should, we have them adjust little things, tweak and tune here and there. At no point in time should it be an exercise in hunger or an exercise or punishment by, by, uh, by extra activity. That is just not, that is not a sustainable lifestyle system. That is where it gets, it goes fucking wrong, you know? Getting healthy for you and your family, uh, kids for your life. Just do it a little at a time. Don't, that's, that, that's right. Right there. Fuck it. Absolutely. Uh, work with buy no morbidity. I'll be releasing the links everywhere as soon as it's for sale. It's for sale here in a couple of weeks. We are going to. It's going to be early April that we're going to be launching, uh, and I would you can trust on this. It'll be. I'll be announcing it on every single live. I'm very. I'm very proud of it because the reason being, I'm very proud of it. One, I've used it. And I know it's going to help a lot of fucking people. I'm a binge eater myself. It helped me get uh, get on top of my binge eating disorder, um, and I'm not. I'm, it didn't cure me because there's no cure for binge eating. But it did help. It does help me uh, deal with the binge tendencies and the absence of hunger, or in the minimal, minimization of hunger. It helped me got a, get a hold of my food habits, um, and it is one of the things I think was going to help a lot of people greatly. Um, and it saves fucking money, uh, saves serious fucking money. But it is done the fucking right way. I'm super fucking proud of it. Super. I'm proud of working with these people. Like, I mean, no shit. Like this product here alone. This is like, it like supercharges me for like my ADHD. And I'm not saying it does that for everybody, but it helps me get, get serious fucking focus. I actually need to take that because I'm, I use that as my pre-workout because I don't obviously need uh, caffeine for energy um, because I'm fucking, I'm a freak to fucking begin with. And I just have my one cup of morning coffee and that's likely a little bit too much that I probably have already, but that helps me get mentally focused and fucking work out really fucking hard. So uh, product, thank you very much. I uh, meant to say tragic that these people claim, uh, the, claim the same oppression that those who suffer from racism. It's disgusting that they do that. I find it totally fucking disgusting that they fucking, uh, they, they associate it with homophobia and even transphobia and fucking racism. Like, it's your fucking choice. You know what I mean? Like, you fucking glutton yourself. And then you, that you burden everybody. And then you fucking, 
Uh, then you want to fucking somehow claim that you're fucking you, you face the same discrimination as somebody who some fucking idiot would hate because of who they fucking love or some fucking idiot would hate because of the color of their fucking skin. I mean, that's it, th those are shit that these people cannot fucking change. They're born that fucking way. You know, they're absolutely fucking born that fucking way. And all of a sudden, like you're going to fucking try to say in some fucking way that because you choose to glutton yourself and be obese and you don't fit into an airplane seat, that somehow that's relatable to somebody who is, you know, told that they fucking that they're a horrible person because of their skin color. Fuck you. That's fucking privilege on itself. Hey, Alan, love what you do. Thank you very much, Sierney. I fucking appreciate it. Anyway, guys, it is at the hour mark. And I am ready to fucking, uh, uh, I'm ready to fucking hop on off tomorrow. Tomorrow's video, if I don't recall, I, I'm gonna, I already have these up. I don't even know how I fucking managed to do that. But uh, tomorrow's video is the, we're going to go over this uh, Louise, Louise's Journey XO. It's how she is dealing with loose skin after losing 120 pounds. I have not watched the video yet. It's going to be a blind reaction that all of you guys can join me in. That is at, um, that is at 1 p.m. tomorrow. For some reason, I keep thinking it's Wednesday. That is at 1 p.m. tomorrow. I hope all of you join me. I had a great fucking time talking about this topic. I really, really, really enjoy you guys. Uh, I'm Again, I wanted to thank everybody for sharing their wins. I wanted to thank everybody for participating in the coaching that has participated in the coaching and gotten their consultations. I want to thank everybody who is in the future going to buy No Morbidity. I truly believe it is going to help change a lot of people's lives. It's going to help save a lot of lives and change people's lives for the, for the better. And it's going to enhance the quality of life for millions of people. And I just really, really, really want to thank all of you guys for sticking by me through all the craziness that's happened in the last two years when everybody tried to fucking cancel me. God damn.